Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LTGym007 and today we're looking at the GUI Admin Tools plugin. So as the name would suggest, this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to have a handy GUI to access as many things as an admin would need. So we can do things using worlds, using players, and a whole host of other stuff. So the main command is forward slash admin tools or forward slash AT. And then if we hit enter, we've got this really nice GUI that pops up. Now there are two versions of the plugin, the free one and then a paid one as well. This is the free one, of course. So we've got a variety of things we can do on the left. And then there's some other categories that we can jump into later, such as managing your server or worlds. So up here, we can left click to heal me. We can change the game mode. We can switch god mode on or off. We can change our fly speed. So if we click this up to one, we are going to be zooming about. We can go back into AT and then you can shift right click to go back to default. So as you can see, all of this is very easy to do. We can clear our inventory even though it's already empty. We can go into armor creation and then if you double click, you can have all diamond armor for example and then we can also open a workbench that way as well rather than placing one down now over here we've got player manager so if we jump into this obviously i'm the only one on the server so we can go into myself we can see what my ping is and then we can teleport to myself we can kick ban kill clear inventory so there's plenty of things you know i could uh, turn fly off for example and down i go show my inventory and then turn up on and off although now I can't turn it back on again. So now that I'm back up, we can kick all players if we want. The time and weather, this one's pretty handy. We can just spam click here to set whatever time of day or weather we want. And then in the middle, you can actually stop the time. So it will show you the actual time and weather and you can pause that if you want to, same with locking the weather. And then we have various flags that we can set such as chat dropping items and then PVP and placing blocks. Server manager, this is pretty handy. So you can see how many players are online. You can turn various things off like color codes, whitelist. Look at the plugin list as well. And you can also stop the server. We can clear chat. So you can see in the left that cleared everything. And then world manager, this one is pretty handy as well. We can create a new world or we can teleport to another world. Now there's a few other commands such as forward slash AT and then heal for example, or AT and then you know any of the other buttons that we looked at in the GUI, but obviously it's much easier just to click in the GUI personally. So that is a quick look in game at how it works. As you can see, it's a really handy toolkit to have in a GUI. There's plenty of things you can do in there and it just makes doing everything that little bit easier. So here we are in the SMP control panel. You can see there's a few files and a save folder. There's really not too much in here. Even in the config, you've got some just default flags you can set on or off if you want. And that is pretty much everything you need to worry about in this plugin. So here we are on the speaker page. You can see it's updated from 1.16 to 1.21. Uh, here is the premium version. If you have any trouble, there is a Discord where you can get help. But overall, here are the commands and permissions. It is very, very easy to use, as you saw, and it's really well made. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.